This one supposedly could run E85 stock with not, not changing anything. And we are back with another one. Get that cold start. It's crazy when you first start it, it's like tame and then it gets louder, just like the Z. So what's happening here is we're headed back to our hometown. He's driving his dad car back to our hometown. And then I'll be driving his car alongside his dad car. But before we get into town, we're gonna be picking up new wheels because he has new clothes that he's putting on this weekend. So it should be, a, should be pretty interesting. Well, of course, I'll show you guys the wheels that he's getting once we get there, but new wheels and new coils. So basically what it's on now, it's on springs. So that's why the car looks lower, that's because it is. Um, but he's wanting to go lower which I uh, the rear I think is gonna stay the same I think he more or less wants it for the front and the fact that you know coils you're able to adjust the camber because it come with the front camera plates if you guys had to choose the the CTS V V3 LT4 motor supercharged from the factory or would you take the S65 V8 that comes in the E92 M3 which one would you take I don't, honestly I think I'm going with the BMW just because it's uh I don't know man, they're both V8s, but this one is just crazy, it, it sounds super good. At this point, it doesn't matter about speed and how fast you can go, more or less just like the drivability and like comfortability and just overall like experience. Obviously still like this car though, This I've always loved these bro, like I said in the last video, performance and luxury in the same chassis, you, yeah, you can't find that often. Interior check, again, aftermarket seats, roll cage. If you guys see lights on the dash, again, it's because aftermarket seats, full exhaust system, and it's untuned. So of course, once we get it tuned, or once he gets it tuned, all those lights will come off the dash. But we have aftermarket steering wheel. Now, I didn't mention in the last video, but these buttons actually do something. So I don't know the like what they do or what the order is, but I know like this is volume. I think that's cruise control. One of them's M, and then the other one does something else. I can't remember. So I'm gonna have him, uh, explain what those buttons do or what the buttons do so all you really need to know is m mode so that's m mode okay this is for the screen you don't care okay this is volume that's okay that's volume channel that's channel and then that's horn, horn. <laughs> wait so it doesn't it doesn't retain cruise control or it's cruise it's control right oh okay okay so i was wrong yeah so yeah. cruise control's on a different one i didn't even see that so it's this is my, my, my biggest question. So it looks a little confusing when you first look at it. So how, like, how does it work? You put it in, so uh, this is, drive. that's drive, okay. And then, do it again. manual. That's manual. Or sport, whatever they want to call it. Okay. Neutral. Okay. And then exactly what it says. Then it go up and then reverse, okay. That's pretty self, uh, at first yeah. when you look at it, it's confusing. It's confusing, but yeah, but like you said, well, I guess once you like understand yeah. like the directions and everything, yeah, I guess that's And that's then true. if you start messing with these, it goes automatically in manual mode. Uh -huh. So, but like, say, okay, let's. I just want to cruise now. You just make sure you just put Dude, it back in drive. Oh, so once, once you, so say it's in drive and you press it, it automatically puts it in manual mode. Yeah. And then you have to like switch yeah. it back to put it in automatic. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. It automatically puts it in manual mode. Okay. And then it also raises the transmission shifting, how aggressive it is. Okay. That's what that is. Yeah, so yeah. You yeah. Can see the bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Those little bars on the. Let's see if it focus on the. Okay, yeah, the bars right there on the dash. Yeah. So. And then I just I usually just put it back in drive and just, just be chilling. So you like and it? You always want to make sure this is all the all on at all time. Just disregard. There, there's another lie. Yes. I mean, if you know, you know, E92s. These buttons get brittle and they always break. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. broken actually when I, I when I got it. I actually broke it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lie, obviously here. Okay. So you want to make sure one, uh -huh. two, just because they rise a lot better. Okay. When it's off, it rises pretty bouncy. Okay. And I'm actually gonna lose that. Wait, so you? I was gonna ask you. So you have so they the? They do have a model that retains the EDC. Uh, Wait, I, I, 
I thought that was only on 2010, or no, excuse me, I thought it was on competition only. Remember, it came with comp wheels and everything? Huh. Mine came with comp wheels and everything. Yeah, I, it's because uh, upon my research, guys, uh, I guess the competition package does like the carbon fiber roof, the wheels, and then yeah. suspension. Then again, you know, you could option everything. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So like, oh, that's I just true. want this. Oh, I just want the roof. That's true. Dang, that you are going to lose that. Oh, well. Yeah. I'll just spin the knob on the top of the <laughs> Not that big of a deal. Wait, so what what um what level do you have it at when you drive? Do you like it all the way up or when I manual all the way up. So usually it's oh I kinda messed it up. So I always leave it all the way up. This one I leave here. So when when it's an automatic you leave it like on the, the lowest the setting. Lowest. Uh, and then when it's on manual what do you where do you put it? All the way up. It goes all, all the way up automatically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So even when you do here, it goes all the way up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you, okay, I see. So depending on the, the uh, setting, whatever you can yeah, adjust. Yeah, because when it. it goes all the way down, like the lightest, it even starts. Like you never go into first. It's always in second. Okay. And then if you just wanna, you can just press end mode. So the the black button is end mode. Side. Okay. So they do have stickers here. I just didn't want the stickers. I probably wouldn't want the stickers either. Just because it's your car. So it's like, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. You remember, it doesn't go into park until you turn it off. So you leave it in neutral and then you press off. Okay. Good to know. I don't know. DCT. DCT things. I can't lie. It is definitely weird driving somebody else's car, just because I'm used to my own cars. But uh, it's fun. This is, I'm saying this fun before I even drive it, but I just know it's going to be fun. Let's see, make sure I angle it because he got that lip. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I just wanted to do it. Gotta roll the other window down, man. We missing out on uh, some sound. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, right, man. We need to add one to the channel, guys. Like I asked you guys in the last video, would you guys want to see an E92 M3 on the channel? I think it would be so dope, honestly. And one of the things that I would have to do because I, again, I would want a DCT, I wouldn't want this in manual, right? I would have to get like this set up right here because like. <laughs> Shout out Chris for letting me drive this because I'm having a blast and we've only been like, what? Not even a mile down the road. Just a guy having fun. Don't mind me. Just having fun. Don't mind me. Got a Z01 in the wild over there. It's funny how this is not even my car and I'm getting compliments. Like I just had that guy in the pickup truck like give me a thumbs up because I downshifted. Because you know. We're in traffic. The one thing that we try to avoid, it's 12 o'clock, why is there traffic? Well, whatever, that's besides the point. It's just funny, you know, getting compliments and a car that's not even your car. I do it just to... <laughs> oh man. But I know when I get mine, we're always gonna need gas. Like, even though Going 85 on this car, going 85 on this car will only give you like eight horsepower because it is NA. But I think I'm gonna do it just for that cost savings when it's time to fill up and because of the smell, because of the fact that there is a full exhaust on this car, 
once you come to a complete stop, you can actually smell like the poop guys come and catch up to you. And it doesn't smell that great. You know, if you know, you know, you know, 91 does not smell great when you have a full exhaust system. So I think I would go E85 just for that reason and to kind of cut costs when it's time to fill up. Um, Cause like, as you guys know, our boosted Z at home, we are on full E85 on that car. It is flex fuel, but I run full E85 all the time for obviously the power gains. And I get about 160 miles on a full tank. And that car is an 18 gallon tank. It does have an 18 gallon tank in it. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I am very familiar with uh, the whole full E85 and you know, the bad gas mileage and all that stuff. Let me roll the windows up just to say this. I truly do miss having a car that I can take turns with at like freaking 80 miles per hour, right? Cause like the ST I can't do that with anymore because of the camber. The Z I can't do that anymore because of the drag pack. It just doesn't like, it's not meant for that. So by us getting like an E92, I would definitely want to have it in a form where it's functional, right? Like I just took that turn back there with this car and like it was planted, no body roll, you know what I mean? Everything was just solid, everything was straight, so. Yeah, man, I uh, I know you guys for the past like two videos you've been hearing me saying, oh, I want to add one to the channel. What do you guys think this, this, and that? But you know, I think my tone and like what I'm saying speaks for itself. You know, I, I definitely need one of these in my life. And the thing is, like, when I get one, I'm never selling it. I say never. You know, of course, hard times come because you know life does happen. Um, you know, at that end, at that point, I would end up doing what I got to do but I would go into it and I would obtain that car with the mindset of uh, not selling it, you know? And which is a bad thing is cause like we already have three cars, right? So by me getting that car, that would just make me, <laughs> make me have four cars. Uh, we would have the ST, the Z, the Daily, which is the Lexus. And then of course the new edition, which would be the E92. Make sure we time it, we time it, and... <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm having way too much fun right now. <laughs> it took a little bit to kind of get used to this car, right? Because this is like, my first time really really driving it and uh, you know it takes a little bit because it's not my car i never driven this car so you got to get comfortable with it but i i feel like i'm a little bit more comfortable with it now i really wish i had a gopro so i can have like a wider view so i could like show you guys the whole like driving experience so i'm doing what i can you know of course having a camera in my hand Good thing is, at least it's DCT, so I don't have to like shift and stuff. But uh, here, I'll give you guys like a first right here. So, first, second. <laughs> it's funny because the new wheels he's buying, the guy has them like outside. <laughs> this season two. Should I park right here? Chris? Oh, I can't hear me, he's all listening to music. Park right here? Yeah. yeah. All right, so, sorry guys, I think I'm I think I'm straight, right? No, I'm not, the wheel's not straight. All right, so we're gonna put it in reverse. And we're just gonna make sure we don't have no garbage cans. All right, so that's reverse. And then we're just gonna go into drive. All right, we're gonna just like that. And then park it neutral, right? Shows neutral. And then we turn it off. Oh, what? Whoops, turn it back on. <laughs> we turn it off. You break up, and that's our park. Oh, wait, and then we have to press it again. And that's our park. DCT things, guys, DCT things. All right, so we picked up the wheels. Three of them fit in the V. Sorry, guys, we can't show you. 
and then the other one fit in here. Guys, I wanted to show you, and I'm gonna I'm respect this privacy. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to show you his setup, bro. It is so, hold on. Let me roll this one though. Oh, he went inside anyways. Um, I wanted to show you his setup. He has a G, what is it, G80? It's a G80, right? G80, G80 is the M4. G80, E90, and E46. So G80, All E90, <laughs> and E46. The G80 was the color Dravic with the peanut butter guts. Uh, the E90 was all black. The paint looked immaculate. He was just installing a uh, exhaust on it, and it had a what was it? BVCs on? Oh, BVCs. <laughs> what is it? B watching too much oh. porn, bro. <laughs> B BVS. <laughs> BVS is. Yeah, yeah, BVS is on it. <laughs> I'm dead, and he had a, <laughs> and the, the driveway had an E46 in Laguna Seca Blue. And it's on the driveway. And it's on the, and he had, oh wait, that's a two car garage, but it's individual garages. I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty weird. But the, I it's thought just, it was a three car garage because it's two separate doors. Yeah, no, that makes sense, but it's because, uh, yeah, I don't know. But the, the so he seen my steering wheel, bro? Yeah, he saw the steering wheel. Like, there's gray in there though. <laughs> big downfall, bro. I've never seen so many. I've never seen so many quality cars owned by one person. You know they sell factory Alcantara like rear seats. They're pretty cheap because nobody cares about the back. So Maybe you should get them. And then like change the gray on here. I know. And then the gray on here. I can't change this, bro. It's the whole dash. I'm not doing that. This right here? The whole yes, yeah, the whole dash. Dye it. I'll try that before I try changing. No, I wouldn't dye it. That's. That sounds like Sharpie. a pain. <laughs> That's a lot of Sharpies, right, sir. We gotta beat yeah, we gotta beat traffic again, guys. All right, let's go. Why is it not working? Huh? Why is it not working? What? You have to put the key in? Oh, you remember sometimes the, the battery's dying. Oh, the battery's dying on the key. So this is what I was saying in the last video. So if you have the non-hump, or non-hump, sorry, if you have the one hump. So one hump meaning it's just the clutch that's the hump. And then the radio down here, that's the one hump. The two hump is this one where it's a cluster. And then you have the, st uh, the stereo, right? If you have the one hump, you always have to put your key in here and start it. This one you don't, but the, the key battery's dying, so you have to put it in here so I can charge it while you're driving. But you that's what I'm saying. Put that window up. So that Why? Oh, so the plastic doesn't fly out? Dang, it's, it's ruining my driving experience, man. You got your little boy right there. <laughs> hey, somebody on the freeway was already like this to me. He, uh, there was somebody on our way on the freeway while we were in Fremont doing that to me in this car. To you too? Yeah. Uh, he, was he in uh, the little semi truck? No, I got one. Now. I, I got that one too, and then I got one in the van, and then the semi truck gave me a thumbs up. Man, getting compliments in a car today, my car. What's up? Alright, we out. Oh, well, that tire just hit the door. Nothing crazy though. What do you expect? Because of this is because we have this in here with the plastic, I can't have that window down. So the sound might be cut off a little bit, guys. My apologies, but we got the driver window down. Oh, make sure I don't crash. Oh, I'm definitely not getting behind that bus. Oh, dip. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Woo! Never gets old, guys, never gets old. See, that's the thing, though. <laughs> I feel like everybody would hate me if I have this car. Because I would just constantly be like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love it. And this. This also adds to the experience because Like that. Bro, who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah.
Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic gotta say, I got him picking up the pieces. Got me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it, cause you won't care.